welcome to this box opening where we open a box from Avenue Trucks. Avenue. And Avenue is of course a skateboard truck company that has been on people's minds for the last year or so. Uh, especially regarding their development, their marketing and their sales of the suspension truck. And a suspension truck is exactly what it sounds like. It's a skateboard truck that incorporates suspension into the design and into the functionality of the truck itself. And uh, this box came to me here in snowy Sweden all the way from Southern California. And uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that cost me. And so let's open her up and see what's inside. And uh, I'm very sorry to say I'm not going to do this the interesting braille way. I'm not going to use a power tool. I'm not going to use my teeth to bite into this package. I'm just going to use a copper knife. So, yeah, a bit boring, but... Yeah, two Avenue suspension trucks, 8.25. That's right. So we've got some paper, and yeah, not a whole lot of stuff in here. We've got uh, two bags, uh, two plastic bags with the uh, one truck in each bag, and then we got some uh, some stickers. Actually, we got one sticker, <laughs> so not a whole lot of stuff. And I mean, that's to be expected. I ordered two skateboard trucks, not a magic box filled filled with surprises. So, yeah, um, you get what you buy, I guess. And I want to take. Uh, a moment and just uh, check out the design of this truck. You can open it up. So yeah, here we have them, the Avenue suspension truck. I mean, design-wise, I think these look awesome. Uh, I think they're so sick, and I really like uh, that the truck is entirely in black. Um, and I mean. When uh, skaters come up to me and take a look at this, half of them love this design and I think, ooh, that's sick. And uh, the rest of them says, ooh, I don't know, that doesn't look like uh, my Indies. And they get all conservative and uh, a bit hesitant about uh, the truck itself. And I think that's to be expected. I mean, the skateboard community, when it comes to their hardware, uh, they are quite conservative. Uh, but I mean, in my mind, change can be really good, and this, for me, is a good example of just that. I mean, I think these look just awesome, but on the other hand, visual appearance of the skate truck is not a big thing for me. I usually skate with uh, my grip side up, and uh, I mean, I don't notice my skateboard trucks that often. Uh, maybe when I mess up my tricks, and... Uh, <laughs> That is something that, in all honesty, happens quite a lot. Um, but yeah, uh, if visual appearance of the skateboard truck is a big thing for you, and you don't happen to, to like this design, uh, maybe this isn't a skateboard truck for you. It's of course this base plate that differs from your average skate truck design. And it's just this piece of spring-loaded steel. And... Uh, the idea is, or the idea, the physics are that when you are doing your high impact uh, skateboard trick, uh, force is being generated onto the hanger through the wheels, and this force actually compresses the truck. I don't, I don't know if you can see this, but <laughs> I'm using like all the force I have in my hands right now. Uh, you may think I'm pretty weak. I'm not saying you're wrong, but <laughs> I mean, this truck is quite sturdy, and the idea is that it's not supposed to move that much, because if it did, I mean, then the truck would be all bouncy and squishy, and that's not the idea of these trucks at all. Uh, the idea is that you'll have this suspension effect that will save your knees, that will save your spine, that will save your body, that will, ma that will make the skating so much smoother and uh, you won't notice it 
yeah, I mean, yeah, the first time you try this, you're gonna get on that board and you're gonna stand and jump on it, and then you are going to feel it. But I mean, ordinary skating after 10 minutes, you won't know that these trucks are under your board. Um, I mean, yeah, you will know it because it's just an awesome feeling, but you won't be aware of the suspension effect that this uh, skate truck is actually uh, compressing. And for me that's important because I want to focus on my skateboard trick and not that I have a truck that behaves in a squishy manner. And believe me, you won't have to worry about that, at least not if you are in somewhat the same weight class as me. Um, I mean, this is basically a shock absorber, like the ones on your car. I mean, the physics are the same. And I mean, the more load you put on the shock absorber, the more it's going to compress. And I weigh 75 kilos, uh, 165 lbs. And for me, uh, there's very little movement uh, in the truck. But if you are a bit heavier, um, uh, around uh, 100 kilograms, I mean, then the truck will probably compress more and you will feel that suspension effect more. Uh, so yeah, but if you are around my weight or under it, you won't notice the suspension effect. Uh, at least I don't. But that of course is the suspension effect that the base plate can move in that manner. And you can also see that uh, there is a limited uh, amount that uh, the truck can move. It's designed so it will bottom out. And I think the distance here, uh, the maximum movement of the truck itself is uh, the maximum compression is like maybe half a centimeter, maybe five, six millimeters. And uh, I mean, it's really hard to compress. And as that also means that uh, the truck does not behave in a bouncy or squishy way. And all the material in this truck is uh, lightweight. I mean, the hanger is made of lightweight magnesium and it's hollow out, it's hollow, so I can see you on the other side and uh, <laughs> the base plate obviously is not hollow but it has these uh, cutouts, these are of course features to keep the weight of the truck low, as low as possible. That being said, uh, these bad boys are actually heavier than your standard in the trucks uh, and these uh, trucks actually weigh in on uh, 420 grams so that can also be something worth uh, considering if you are interested in buying this the kingpin is not hollowed out and it's also not replaceable if you can see here the kingpin is actually welded into the truck itself and that can be a problem because as I said, I have skated these trucks for a year, almost, and I have actually snapped one kingpin. Good news though, Avenue is very generous about replacing these parts when they break. So it really shouldn't be a major problem, but it's something worth considering if you are interested in these trucks. Uh, when it comes to the bushings, uh, the stock bushings, they come in a toxic green color and I have actually never tried this. Uh, I have skated Avenue before, uh, this is actually the third pair that I'm buying. Uh, you may ask why. I have uh, three boards. I have one at the skate park in my locker, I have one at home, I have one at work. So yeah, I need three pairs of these goodies. Uh, but I have actually never tried skating in these stock bushings. Um, when they initially uh, started to sell these trucks, I know they had some issues with the stock bushings being too soft. Uh, but I have uh, skated these with uh, Bones Medium Hardcore bushings, the yellow ones, and they work out uh, pretty nice. Because of the way that the skateboard truck is uh, behaving uh, due to the free floating kingpin, uh, 
um, it actually makes the bushings uh, appear softer than they are and uh, uh, I'm actually going to try to put in some hard bones bushings in these, the black ones uh, just to try, try them out and see if there's a difference but other than the trucks themselves, there's not a whole lot of stuff in here. I mean, we have this sticker, which is awesome. And, uh, but one thing I'm actually missing in this box is a tool. Uh, because, uh, because of the way that the base plate is uh, designed, uh, you have these holes here. And... Uh, an ordinary skate tool uh, won't uh, gain access to this so you need like uh, uh, like another tool for this and from what I heard in the beginning Avenue actually provided one uh, a tool like that in their boxes uh, but I have never received such a tool but I think that would be a, a good idea Anyway, I hope that you have found this uh, video, at least in some part, informative. And uh, if you have uh, any questions regarding these trucks, uh, uh, post a comment and I will try to answer it. Uh, I have skated suspension trucks for almost a year. And uh, if I find the time, I'm going to do a video where I talk a little bit more about how they behave when skating. Uh, and uh, if you're curious about that, I mean, hit that subscribe button and you won't miss it. And if you don't uh, want to wait, you can check out my videos on this channel. Uh, all my skating on this channel is done with suspension drugs. Uh, so, yeah, check that out. And you'll be a wiser man, woman, child, parent, whatever. That being said, spoiler alert, I freaking love these trucks and uh, I mean it takes 5 to 10 minutes to get used to the suspension and after those 10 minutes, uh, at least for me, there's no going back. Uh, they feel like nothing else. And I have skated uh, Indus, Ace, Thunder, Venture, Tensor and uh, this is by far the sweetest truck I've ever skated. Uh, they offer such a smooth ride, it's ridiculous. And I'm honestly not seeing myself going back ever, ever to a regular stiff skate truck design. Sorry, Indus. Thanks for watching and feel free to ask questions in the commentary feed. I will try to answer them if they're about the suspension trucks. I think I probably will have a clue. And uh, subscribe if you are interested in more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. See you.